Клабьям, ма, сма, гамаха, пата, найтат, твои, упопадьете, кшудрам, гридая, дурбальям, тяктва, утешта, парантапа. Клайбьем вас, магамак пата, клайбьем вас, магамак пата, на этот твою попадете, на этот твою попадете, к чудрам рыда я дорбальям, к чудрам рыда я дорбальям, тяг два тыща парандаба, тяг два тыща парандаба. Клайбьям, импотенс, ма, do not, сма, take it for granted, гамаха, go in, парта, о сын of прита, на, never, этот, like this, твои, unto you. Упопадьете is befitting. Кшудрам very little. Хридоя heart. Дорбальям weakness. Тяктва giving up. Уттишта get up. Порантапа O chastiser of the enemies. Translation, O son of Prita, do not yield to this degrading impotence. It does not become you. Give up such petty weakness of heart and arise, O chastiser of the enemy. Bhagavan uh, <clears throat> Krishna is encouraging Kuddham Ridaya Dharbana. For a Chhatriya to speak like that, no, no, I cannot kill my kinsman, I am giving my weapons. This is weakness, cowardice. Uh, why you are all this nonsense doing? Khutrang Ridaya Dharbana. This kind of compassion, giving up your duty as a Chhatriya, It is simply weakness of the heart. It has no meaning. Kalibhang masma gama parthyo nita tvai upabhata. Especially for you. Uh, you are my friend. What people will say? So give up this weakness of the heart. And uttishtha, stand up. Take courage. Uh, you just see how Krishna is inducing Arjuna to fight. The people are uh, very much ignorant and they sometimes criticize that Krishna is exciting Arjuna. He is very gentleman, non-violent. And Krishna is exciting him to fight. This is called Jaradarshan. Jaradarshan. Uh, Jaradarshan means material vision. Therefore, Shastra says, Atasya Krishna Namadi Namaved Grahiham Indriyai. Sri Krishna. Namadi. We become in touch with Krishna by chanting his name. Hare Krishna. That is the beginning of our connection with Krishna. Namadi. The Shastra says, Ata Sri Krishna Namadi. Adi means beginning. So we have no connection with Krishna. But if you chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra immediately, our first chance 
to contact Krishna begins. So it has to be practiced. Not that immediately I realize Krishna. That is not. Of course, if one is advanced, it is possible immediately. So, Sri Krishna Nam Adi. Nam means name. So Krishna is not only name, Adi, that is the beginning, but form, activities, just like Sabanam Kirtanam. The Savanam Kirtanam uh, glorifying or describing about Krishna. So he has got his form. Uh, so Nam means name, and then Rup means form, Nam Rup, Lila means pastimes, Gun means quality, Enturage his associates, all this. Other Sri Krishna Namadi, na bhavet, na bhavet, grayam indri. By ordinary senses, we cannot understand either Sri Krishna's name. We are hearing uh, our uh, through the oral reception, Krishna's name. But if we keep our ear without purification, of course, by hearing it will be purified. And we have to help. Help means to avoid the offenses, ten kinds of offenses. So in this way we shall help the purificatory process. Just like if I want to ignite fire, so I must help the igniting process by drying the wood. It will very soon get fire. Similarly, uh, simply chanting, that will help also. It will take time. But if we avoid the offenses, then it will be very quickly purified. The action will be there. So, Atasya Krishna Namadi Navavi Grayam Indri. So, this behavior of Krishna, how ordinary man can understand? Because they have got their ordinary senses. Therefore, they mistake. Why Krishna? In Krishna's devotee, Vaishnava, that is also stated, Vaishnavir Kriya Mudra Vigyana Bhujhar. Even Vaishnava, Acharya, what he is doing, even the most expert, intelligent man cannot understand why he is doing this. Therefore, we should not try to imitate the higher authorities, but we have to follow the order, injunction given by the higher authorities. It is not possible. If Krishna is uh, exciting or doing to fight, that does not mean we can also do that excite. No. That will be immoral. For Krishna it is not immoral. Whatever he is doing is God is good, he is all good. We should accept it. Whatever he is doing, ah, that is all good. This is one side. And what I am doing without authority's order, this is all bad. He does not require any order from anyone else. Ishara Parama Krishna is the supreme control. He does not require anyone's destruction. Whatever he does, it is perfect. This is Krishna understanding. And not that I have to study Krishna. Uh, in my own way. Krishna is not subjected to your examination uh, or your test. He is above all. He is transcendent. Therefore, uh, those who have not the transcendental vision, they misunderstand Krishna. Uh, 
Here he is directly enticing. Klevang mas magama parthya nitatta yupa vaddhati suddang vidaya dudballam tapta uttishtha parantapa. Parantapa is this word. Very word is used that you are a chhatriya, you are a king, your business is to chastise the mischief mongers. That is your business. You cannot excuse the mischief monger. Formerly the kings were so. The king himself used to judge. A criminal was brought before the king. And if the king thought it wise, he would take his own sword immediately, cut his head. That was the duty of king. Even not many, about hundred years ago, in Kashmir, the king, as soon as a thief was caught, he would be brought before the king. And if he is proved that he has a thief, he has stolen, immediately the king will cut off his hands personally, chopped off. Even hundred years ago. So all other thieves warned, this is your punishment. There was no thieving, there was no stealing, no burglary in Kashmir. Even somebody lost something on the road, it will lie down, nobody will touch it. The order was, king's order was, if something is lying down on, on the street and care for, you cannot touch it. Uh, the man who has left it, he would come, he would collect. You cannot touch uh, Even a hundred years ago. So this capital punishment is equal. Nowadays the capital punishment is excused. Murderers are not hanged. This is all mistake. All <coughs> ask A murderer must be killed. No mercy. Why a human killer, even an animal killer, should be immediately hanged? That is the king now. The king should be so strict. Uh, so this sympathy is like Arjun's sympathy. Uh, the sympathy now the state is sympathizing with the murderer not to be killed. Uh, this is Arjun, that is Vidayadodbhana. That is not duty. One has to discharge duty ordered by the superior authority very strictly, without any concern. So these are weakness of the heart, this kind of sympathy. But ordinary person will not understand. Therefore, to understand Krishna, one requires special senses, special senses, not ordinary senses. Special senses means you have to pluck your eyes and you have to put another eye. No, you have to purify. Tatparatena uh, nirmalam. Just like if you have got some disease in the eyes, you apply medicine, uh, and when it is clear, you can see clearly everything. Similarly, with these blunt senses, we cannot understand what is Krishna. Sevan mukhi hi jivhado swame as Sri Krishna's namado, Krishna's name, form, quality, etc., is not understood by these blunt senses. So, how it is to be done? The Sevan mukhi hi jivhado, again, jivhado. Beginning from the tongue, uh, controlling the tongue. Uh, just see, it is uh, something peculiar that you have to understand Krishna by controlling the tongue. Uh, this is something wonderful. How is that? I have to control my tongue to understand Krishna. Uh, but it is the Shastra injunction is there. Sivanamukhi hi jivhādu. Jivhā means tongue. So, in order to see Krishna, 
you know, to understand Krishna, the first business is to control your tongue. Therefore, we say, don't take meat, uh, don't take liquor, uh, because it is controlling the tongue. The tongue is the uh, most uh, strong enemy as sense, as perverted sense. Uh, and these rascals, they say, no, you can eat whatever you like. It has nothing to do with religion. But Vedic Shastra says, you rascal, first of all, control your tongue. Then you can understand what is God. So this is called Vedic injunction. Perfect. If you control your tongue, then you control your belly, then you control your <coughs> genital. Rupa Goswami gives in his text, Bacho Bhigam, Krudha Bhigam, Mudara Upastha Bhigam, Manaso Bhigam, Eetan Bhigan, Javisaita Dhira, Sa Prisiring Sa Sishyat. This is in his text, that anyone who has become competent to control the tongue, to control the mind, to control the anger, uh, to control the belly and control the genital. If six kind of control is there, he is fit for becoming spiritual master. He can make disciples all over the world. And if you cannot control your tongue, if you control your anger, control your mental concoction, then how you can become uh, even a spiritual master? That is not possible. Prithivin Sashishya, one of these, that is called Goswami. Goswami or Shami. Master of the senses, master of controlling these six kinds. So beginning is the jiva. Sevanamukehi jiva do sayameva spurattada seva. The tongue can be engaged in the service of the Lord. How? Yeah, you chant Hare Krishna, all is glorified. Bachangsi vaikuntha kunanu varnani. Bachangsi means talking. Talking is the business of tongue and tasting is the business of tongue. So, you engage the tongue in the service of the Lord by glorifying. Whenever you take a vow that whenever I shall speak, I shall simply speak glorifying Krishna, nothing more. That is tongue control. If you don't allow your tongue to speak anything nonsense, grammo katha, we sometimes sit together, we talk so many, uh, nonsense. Uh, that should be controlled. Now I have engaged my tongue for the service of the Lord, so we shall not talk anything of sense gratification. But this is controlling the tongue. I cannot eat anything which is not offered to Krishna. This is controlling the tongue. So these are small techniques, but it has got great, great value so that Krishna will be pleased, the austerity, and he will reveal. You cannot understand, you cannot see Krishna, you cannot order Krishna. Uh, Krishna, please come dancing with flute, I shall see you. This is order. Uh, Krishna is not uh, subjected to your order. Uh, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives us an instruction. Aslisya bapadaratang pinastama maramahatang karutuba adarsana. Adarsana. Everyone wants to see Krishna devotee. But a pure devotee says that, no, if you don't like to see me, that's all right. You can break my heart. I may always pray to see you. But you do not come and break my heart. That is also accepted. Still I shall worship you. This is pure devotion. Not that I have asked Krishna to come before me dancing. He did not come. Why give up this nonsense? 
Krishna consciousness movement is no value. Not like that. Uh, <coughs> this is Radharani's attitude. Uh, so Krishna left Vrindavan. All the gopis, they passed that day simply crying for Krishna, uh, but never condemned Krishna. Uh, uh, whenever somebody came, Krishna also was thinking of them. Because gopis are the greatest devotees, topmost devotees. There is no comparison with the devotion of the gopis. Uh, therefore, Krishna was always obliged to them. Uh, Krishna said to the gopis that you have to be satisfied with your own business. I cannot return you anything for your love. Krishna, the Supreme, the All Powerful, he was unable to repay the debts uh, for the gopis. So gopis, uh, Chaitanya Mahapuru said, Ramma kachi dupasana brajabadhu varga bhija kulpita. There is no more bitter worship than what was conceived by the gopis. So gopis are the topmost devotees. And amongst the gopis, Srimati Radharani is the topmost. Therefore, Srimati Radharani is greater than Krishna. Uh, so this is uh, Gauriya Vaishnava philosophy. Uh, it, it requires time. Mm. So the activities of Krishna, the rascal, if they simply see that Krishna is uh, enticing Arjun to fight, therefore Krishna is immoral. That is means wrong vision. You have to see Krishna uh, with separate eyes. Uh, therefore, Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma karma me dibbamcha. Don't dibba. These transcendental activities of Krishna, if anyone can understand, simply, if anyone can understand, uh, then he becomes liberated immediately. Liberated. Not liberated, ordinary liberation, but uh, for going back to home, back to God. Takta de hang punar janma naiti mami ti kaunti. The greatest liberation. There are different types of liberation also. Sajujya sarupas sasti salaka saju. Five kinds of liberation. The sajajya means to march into the existence, Brahma, Brahma law. Uh, that is also liberation. The Mahavadis or the Gani Sampradha, they want uh, to merge into the existence, Brahma existence. That is also mukti. That is called sajajya mukti. But for a devotee, this sajajya mukti is just like hell. Uh, Koi vallam narakāyate. For Vaishnā, koi vallam to monism, to merge into the existence of the Supreme is compared with hell. Koi vallam narakāyate. Tidasa pura ākāsa puspāyate. And the Kurmīs, Gānīs, are anxious to merge into the existence of the uh, Brahma effulgence. And the Kurmis, their highest step is how to be elevated in the higher planetary system. Sargulo, where Lord Indra is there. Or Brahma is there. That is Kurmis. Uh, ambition. Uh, to go to the heaven. Uh, they all, except Vaishnava philosophy, in all other literature, all other scripture, means Christian or Mohammedan. Their aim is how to be elevated to the heaven. So heaven is described in the Vedic literature as Tidasapura. Tidasapura. Tidasapura means there are 33 uh, millions of demigods and they have got their separate planets. This is called Tidasapura. Uh, three means three and Dos means uh, ten, 
थर्टी थ्री और थर्टी एनीवे वे ती दस पूरा आकाश पुष्प आए थे आकाश पुष्प मीन्स समथिंग इमेजिनरी समथिंग इमेजिनरी ए फ्लावर इन द स्काय द फ्लावर शुड बी इन द गार्डन बट इज सम इमेजिन्स द फ्लावर इन द स्काय इज इज समथिंग इमेजिनरी सो फॉर ए डिवोटी दिस हेमली प्रमोशन to the heavenly planet is just like a flower in the sky tidasa pura aakasha pushpayat koi vallang narakayat gani and kormi and duddanta indra kala sarpapatali pratkhata dhanstayat then yogi yogi is a trying yogi means yoga indriya sanya controlling the senses that is yoga prayer Our senses are very strong, just like we also. But now, we first of all try to control the tongue. The yogi is also they try to control the senses, not only tongue, but all other ten kinds of senses uh, by that uh, yogi mystic process. So that why they are trying to control because the senses are just like serpents. Uh, a serpent, just like touch anywhere, immediately something up to death. The injury there must be up to death. Uh, this is exemplified uh, just our sex impulse. Uh, as soon as there is illicit sex, there is so many difficulties. Uh, of course, nowadays it is all. Become very easy. Formerly it was very difficult, especially in India. Uh, therefore, a young girl was always protected uh, because if he, if she mixes with the boys, uh, somehow or other, as soon as there is sex, she becomes pregnant, uh, and it will be no more possible to get her married. No, touched by the serpent. Uh, This is Vedic civilization. It's very strict because the whole aim was how to go back to home, back to God. Not sense gratification. Uh, it didn't very enjoy. That is not the aim of human life. So everything was everything was planned with that aim. Vishnu aradhati, varna samacharvata, purusheena parupama, Vishnu aradhati. नन्नतत्व सु कारण वर्णाश्रम देश ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय वैश्य एवरी वन हेड टू स्ट्रिक्टली फॉलो द रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ऑफ द पर्टिक्युलर डिविजन ब्राह्मण मस्ट एक्ट एज ए ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय मस्ट हियर इज इट दस कृष्ण से यू आर क्षत्रिय यू आर वाई यू आर टॉकिंग ऑफ दिस रेस्कल यू मस्ट नहीं तय उपबद्धते इन टू वेज You should not do this. As a khatriya, you should not do this, and as my friend, you should not do this. This is your weakness. Uh, so this is Vedic civilization. Fight for the khatriya. A Brahman is not going to fight. Uh, Brahman is satta samadama. He is practicing how to become truthful, how to become clean, how to control the senses, how to control the mind, how to become simple. How to become full and uh, cognizant of the Vedic uh, literature? Uh, how to apply practically in life? How to become firmly fixed up in conviction? These are Brahmanas. Similarly, Chhatriyas fighting. That is necessary. Bhishma, Kisi Guru Ksha Banija. So, so all these strictly to be followed. Uh, Just yesterday we were reading when Manu, by what such a Manu, uh, came to court the money, he is receiving. Uh, Sir, I know that your touring means you are just uh, what is called uh, what is called examining, inspecting. inspecting. Yes, inspecting. Your touring means inspection whether 
the varnasam, whether the brahmana is doing actually as brahmana, kshatriya is doing actually as kshatriya, that is king's touring. King's touring is not a pleasure touring. At the expense of the state, go somewhere and come back. No. Uh, he is sometimes in disguise. The king used to see whether this uh, Barnasam dharma is being maintained, properly being observed, uh, whether uh, somebody is uh, simply wasting time like hippies. No. That cannot be done. Uh, uh, that cannot be done. Now, in, the, in your government, there is some inspection that nobody is employed, but unemployed. But uh, so many things are not practically inspected. But it is the duty of the government uh, to see everything, varnāsamacāra-vata, uh, everything is practicing as brahmana simply by falsely becoming brahmana, or falsely becoming chatya or no. He must. So this was the uh, king's duty, government's duty. Now everything is topsy-turvy, uh, everything is no more practical value. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Kalo Harin Nama, Harin Nama, Harin Nama, Ivaki Valam, Kalo Nasti, Nasti, Vukadinanatha. It is very difficult to take us back to the original process of civilization. So, for a now, as I was explaining, the Tidasa Purva Akasa Puspayate Duddhanta Indriya Kala Sattva Patali. So, controlling the sense, uh, that is duddhānta. Duddhānta means formidable. It is very, very difficult to control the senses. Uh, therefore, the yoga process, mystic yoga process, just to un- uh, practice how to control the senses. Uh, but for a devotee, uh, they, they are just like the tongue, if it is engaged, only in the business of chanting Hare Krishna mantra and eating only Krishna prasadam. The whole thing is done. Perfect yogi. Perfect yogi. Uh, so for a uh, bhakta, there is no trouble with the senses. Uh, because a bhakta knows how to engage each and every sense in the service of the Lord. Rishi kena, rishi kesa sevanam. That is bhakti. Rishi means the senses. When the senses are engaged only for the service of uh, Krishna, rishi kesa, then there is no need of practicing yoga. Automatically they are locked up in the service of Krishna. Uh, they have no other engagement. That is the highest. Therefore Krishna says, yogi nāgapi sarvesaṁ. Madhagata antanātmana sadhyāvān bhajati yuma sami yukta A first-class yogi is he who is always thinking of. Therefore this chanting of Hare Krishna mantra, if we simply chant and hear as the first-class yogi. So these are the process. So Krishna wants to know that uh, why you are uh, uh, indulging in this weakness of mind. You are under my protection. I am ordering you to fight. Why you are denying? Uh, this is the part. Thank you very much.